Welcome back, everybody. This is Dana Code, and we're continuing on with our Machine Key playthrough here. And we are going to continue on exploring the electricity. So there's a few things I need to do in this episode. One is I'd like to hook up one of the production facilities, namely a like a sawmill or something like that, to pr make it produce a little bit more. So. So what I have is a way, ooh, that's a pretty good view, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so what I was thinking, actually, is that, let's zoom out a little bit here, and we have this sawmill here, right? And it looks like, let's just get rid of that, it looks like the base production and this extension production, both with electricity, will actually produce more. So this will produce one more per cycle, and I think this one will produce two more per four cycles, if I'm reading that right. And so I want to definitely do that because if I look at the station here, we have a good amount of logs, but we don't have a good amount of production of, and you can see too, our trains are coming out here, right? Uh, not as full, our plank trains. So I think that would be a good thing to start with with the electricity now i did a little exploring and to hook up the electricity what we have is this electricity tab here and we have power lines basically and these are also towers so these can go over things like bridges so and things like that and we also have underwater here and transformers i haven't really figured out that too too much and it has a little bit of an overlay here to show you where the electric is. Now, only places that the electric is right now is the electric stations. So as you can see, they're, you know, bright, brighter color than here, like a dark, little light gray here. This is like a tan, whatever. So to get the electric there, you have to actually do power lines. So it's going to be a little bit of a run down here to to the sawmill but I think we can do it so I think that we can use this power this uh, electric company here <laughs> this power station and kind of go over this way and then down I think like along this line here and then over to the sawmill so that's what I'm gonna try to do here and I think what I want to do is I want to start at the sawmill and then see if I can't go over here and, and across this not too sure so there's a few things like I don't know if power lines go under bridges so like for example like this no so they are not connected so let's see here let's remove remove there we go and remove so and as you can see and this is why I kind of want to I was like I in the sawmill here is that the power lines take uh, wood tokens to build and then the uh, we're not going to use as many but the electric towers use the uh, steel to to produce to uh, to build so that's why I'm eyeing this one so we're gonna get our wood production up a little bit more so I thought that would be a good place to start with the electricity now so let's see here so I think we can just go here and kind of go over this maybe so let's just see let's just put one here and put one, actually no, I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and take that out. Let's go ahead and put, and I think you can go like the four corners of each square actually as well. So let's just put this here. And you see now we got the power lines hooked up to the sawmill there, which is pretty cool. So I think, let me see here. So I think we have the tower, right? The tower will hook up like that and then hook on the other side here no so that's not connecting so maybe we need something in the middle here so okay so I'm gonna have to think about this for a second so maybe maybe we can go here and then over that way so something like that yeah so there so there we go so let's take this out and then we can probably maybe go over this way maybe 
I don't know. So this is going two squares. So that's two squares. So maybe let me just take this out real quick. And I think I can put this over. That's weird that it didn't disappear. The power lines. Let's go like that. There we go. So that's a little closer. And then maybe here. Ah, there we go. Perfect. And then we can do something like that, maybe. Oh, yeah, that worked. <laughs> I'm so, I'm shocked. And maybe it is over here like that. Oh, see, there you go. So if you do it just right, you can go over your existing things. Now, the only other option would be to actually, let's get rid of this, would be to go and have your either roads or your tracks to be bridges or tunnels. And then you can just, you know, go over like normal and just use the regular regular old power lines here so or electric pole all right so there's that so that was one of the biggest concerns i had and now all we need to do is take it from here i think just like that and then do a little jaunty thing like this and that perfect and then let's see how do we want to do this i want to kind of keep them straight as possible not too many curves and things like that. So I think I'm going to depot is here. So we'll probably go down and go like that. So let's go and do that. And let's see. So just maybe here, I think would work here and then here. Yeah, that'll work. Then we'll just kind of go down this way. Where's our other power lines? Hold on, hold on, hold the phone. Okay, so we're here. So this is that. Okay, so that's perfect. So all we need to do now is the poles like this. I think we're here. Actually, let's get rid of that. I just want to make um, my OCD is getting me here. So we want to do that. There we go. Okay, so then we just go down and down and down and down all the way to this. Hey, where'd it go? There we go. All the way down to here, and I think that'll work or not. What happened? What happened? Like that, there we go. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. I do not like that, although it probably doesn't really matter, but that kind of looks odd, right? Or is it just me? So let's do this. Oh, I'm still doing it. <laughs> All right, so let's just get rid of this one. Maybe it's going to it's going to look kind of weird, I guess, but that'll be all right. That's fine. That's fine. Every day it'll be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> all right. So there's that. And let's see here. So we just have this ways to go down here. So let's just make our way down there. And yeah, so that works out perfectly, actually. Now, the thing is, too, though, if we want to expand the station, we're going to have to move the power lines a little bit. But that's something that can be done later and it looks like it powers the whole town actually so that's pretty cool or or at least things in a certain radius i guess maybe so it's not just the sawmill so that's pretty cool all right so let's look at the sawmill real quick and see what we got that is not the sawmill that is the sawmill there we go. All right, so it looks like, yes, yeah, so we have power now and we have power and it's producing more here and more there. What other extensions do we have? I can actually probably also deliver some coal here. Actually, that's probably a pretty good idea. Let's go ahead and build that as well. Let's go ahead and just build it off here, I think. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. And then we can just deliver some coal here. So that'll be another boost to that. So then maybe we'll have some full 
plank freight trains going over to uh where is my tool works here it is so we're going over here how are we doing for so we can do power here as well which would be kind of cool but how are we doing for stock here yeah, it doesn't look like we have any planks coming here I think I'm delivering the planks to... There was another foundry. Where's my other foundry? I'm losing track of these things. Oh, here it is. So here's my other... Or not my foundry. My other two works, I should say. So I could probably get power over to this guy. Pretty easy. Let's see what's at the station here. Yeah, so this is where I'm delivering them. Okay. So if we get a little bit of a backlog here, I can definitely put power here. Because I can just run a line, I think, maybe up here or... Well, maybe a little bit more difficult. Uh, let's just see if I can get power there. Let me see. Let's see. Let's just do uh, power lines, maybe. Cannot build on that. Can I build here? Can't build there. Can't build there. Hmm, let's see. If I, yeah, this is gonna be a little bit of a hassle. Holy moly. Alright, so maybe just going no, I can't even go down that way. <laughs> it's in its own little thing. Well, mm hmm. Can I Can I just delete that? Well let's just try try this. Did that, did that give him power? No, that did not give him power. All right, so I'll have to figure something out there. Or a, hey, oh, I know, hold on, hold on. Maybe, there it is, <laughs> I got it. Okay, so let's just go ahead and, oops, don't wanna do that. Let's go ahead and delete this, because that is not needed. Uh, cool. And did I see something there? Wait a minute. So, does that actually... So it looks like it actually expands the radius of power? Or maybe it's just that that's as far as it can go? Yeah. So we can just expand or span three blocks, maybe. That's pretty cool. And then that will be the next one right there. That would be the farthest way it can go. So if I go outside of that, as you can see too, this other one is turning white if it's going to be connected. And then if it's outside of that, it'll turn, it won't turn white. So yeah, so that'll be that. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So let's just get rid of those. We don't need them. Also get rid of that. Very cool. I like it. All right, so this guy is powered. And that kind of looks, whew, that looks ugly. But it's working... <laughs> That's craziness right there. Okay. Let's just see here. So now we should be able... Yeah, so now we have power. So that's pretty cool. That's very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so with that though, so these are the things... It, they're hooked up to this power, uh, power plant. And as you can see, we, on the power plant we have two out of eight. So we only have so many things we can hook up as far as buildings. So I think, and I'm not too entirely sure, but I think the extensions, I don't know though. Let's just go ahead and put an extension on and see if it, it was, it'll go up here. So we only have eight possible. So let's, if we put this extension on, will that increase, let's put this one on as well. Actually, let's put one at a time. Yeah, 2 out of 11. 8, 9, 10, 11. So that brought it up 3. So that plus 3 is how many things how many things more you can connect to it, I guess. So that's pretty cool. So that should bring it up to, yeah, 14. There we go. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And it also boosts up our production of energy tokens as well, which is cool. Now, with that said... There's a couple things, a couple other things that I need to do here that I noticed. One is now that we're producing power tokens, if we select our depot, we have this electric, electric, 
<laughs> let's see if I can say this. Electric, yeah, this button here, electrification. There we go. Boy, that was hard. Okay, but we have this, and I, we can afford it. Why is it in red? That's weird, really weird. So with that, let's just look at the engines here before we do it. So we don't have any electric engines. But if we go ahead and purchase that, which did that put something on there? I should have been looking. Oh, so that put electric lines like there on there. So then they can go out. Anyways, okay. So that gives us the yeah, So we have now electric engines. So very, very cool. But with that, obviously, now we need to electrify our rails. So with electric rails, uh, let's just see how much they cost here. So electric rails cost money and cost iron tokens. So it doesn't look like I have a ton of iron. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to look and we're, we're gonna do that in just a second. We're going to look for our, you know, our iron production and, and try to boost that up as well. But it's pretty easy to to upgrade. So right now, as you can see, we have just railway. So just the basic old railway that we started with. It's not even high speed. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to, especially here, going out here, if we want to connect anything and use our electric trains, we're going to need to electrify the railways between those paths and also between the path of the starting thing and the depot so we're just and then do it there's this little upgrade button here and you just hover over the track you want to upgrade and it does its thing just like that so but with that said obviously again we need to get a lot more iron tokens so I want to electrify everything and start doing that but let's see here so what do we got so let's just get rid of that and we set up earlier in a few videos back up here up to the north this is going to be we're going to bolster up our iron production i don't even think this foundry is being used so we're going to do that we're going to use that one get more iron get more iron ore and coal there and also we have some, we have these two tool works like right next to each other, which is really cool, actually. <laughs> Strange, but, but cool. And it also looks like we can electrify these guys. And so when we have enough of the um, foundry here, and we also have a foundry here, so we can actually just deliver the iron and our iron ore and coal here directly and it'll go directly in here but I think we're already doing that so I want to actually use this as well this one here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna concentrate on getting some a lot of stuff here so what do we have here is this one two three four five six seven eight so this is a upgraded but this one does not look like it is upgraded so we only have a six space platform here so let's just look at this real quick and try to upgrade this platform first. I'm going to use my this signal box. We'll put it on the other side. No, actually, let's put it on this side because if 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 a lot of I have a lot of traffic here, I can make this into a four um, a four platform station, and then I won't have to remove this and redo it. So let's just go like that, and then we do want. A, we should probably get a well that is fine we don't need those so we just need a storage building for now and we'll just stick that right there it's fine 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 although yeah I should put it you know what I'm gonna do mm. actually I'm just gonna delete that and then we'll expand the station here Oops, wrong button. What was it? V, I think. And is this the right one? Yeah, so electric rails. And we might as well go ahead and upgrade this, this local area here a little bit. To electric rails. Fine. Okay. So now what I want to do is I'm going to put a signal box here. And I know I'm wasting a little bit of money here, but I got to do this just right because if I want to put extensions on these tool works here, 
I want space to do it around, and they're like right up against each other. So I'd have to put extensions for the two works for this one, like in this area, and this one will go this in this area. And then the uh, if we do some extensions for this foundry, they'll go over here. That's what I'm planning anyway. So I wanted to get this stuff as far out of the way as possible. So then let's just put a signal box. Actually, I don't think do we need it. Yeah, nah, we don't. Maybe <laughs> we'll see. That's fine. So storage building, yeah, let's we'll stick that there. It's gonna be tight. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna be tight. Uh, and a freight station is right there. It's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Oh, alrighty. So yeah, so like these extensions that we can put on here. Um, and we really don't need. I think we're just gonna concentrate on this extension. Yeah, and that's a pretty big one as well. So let's put that there because we're gonna concentrate on getting the iron production up here and we'll do the same thing over here oh I can't fit it what's going on oh because it's next to that why can't I fit that there all right well next best thing I guess right there that'll be fine all right so that's fine so that's that for that one so we have an extra that for the iron production we have an extra extension on that one for the iron production and that should be fine for those and let's see okay so that's good there and we'll deal with this in a minute but what I want to do is see exactly where we're gonna get our coal and iron and up here is I mean these are being under utilized so it looks like yeah so we have a, just a ton of iron ore here uh, coming from this iron mine and it looks like let's see here yeah and we're just we're just you have tons of stuff that we can send down there and this has both so this has the iron and the coal so it looks like the coal is being we can actually get some extensions on this coal mine let's do that and second frame uh, looks good to me. Okay, probably do a uh, freight station here, and we can put it on this side. It's fine on this one, even though we have a signal box over there. That's fine, and a storage building. Let's stick it there. It's fine. Fine, fine, fine. Cool. So that should now give us a lot more room for the stuff we need. We can also actually put in, and I usually don't build these, but we can put these in as well. There's fine. There's fine. We can put those hoppers right next to each other. That's pretty cool. Let me look at these. Oh yeah. Cool. And <laughs> we got a little snow on that one. Very nice. We are up in the mountains. This is very cool. It looks very nice. I like this. It looks really nice. And you can kind of walk through it here. I like it. Picturesque. <laughs> Grasses blowing in the breeze. All right. So there's that. So we have just a ton of stuff that we can put down there now obviously is now we can buy the trains and figure it out we also have over here another foundry and another tool works that we can deliver to and another town so that's another option we also have a coal mine here and another refinery so we have tons of options but i want to keep this clean because i think in the next era we'll probably get a lot of other stuff in there and it'll be little bit harder to connect them if we have existing rails so I'm going to use these existing rails that we have already and cool so let's go ahead and put on here and I'll just put it on this side should be fine again we can probably move these if we needed to storage building can I put it over here yeah, so that'll exp expand the catchment over that way as well. That's fine. Either way. How about a restaurant? OK. 
can we do a restaurant? I should have put the restaurant over there. Oh, well. Uh, not too worried about it. We don't have too much passenger rail coming here. Although, let's go ahead and put an iron, iron hopper. Just there is fine. And there's no coal there, so no worries there. So let's see what we can do with this one. This one is completely just, it's not upgraded at all. It doesn't even have the signal box. So we'll put the signal box here. Looks good. And then let's expand. Again, wrong button. Expand that way. Let's go ahead and upgrade just a little bit here and there while we are doing it. Might as well. All right, since we're in that screen anyways, might as well do it, right? All right, so what do we got here? So we have, that's what I want. So we have tons of that. So let's go ahead and put on, like we did with the other ones, and we'll put on a freight station, put that just there, it's fine. And a storage building, we'll stick that there, it's fine. And we'll do a coal hopper for this one. Just, oops, hello, just right there. That's what I wanted. So we have a little cluster of stuff there. Okay. And you, let's go ahead and upgrade you with all the things. Except that one. And it looks like we can run electric over here as well to produce much more coal, which is great. All right, so that should be that. And let's see here. So we do have our upgraded buildings here and our upgraded coal. How about let's upgrade this as well. Put some offices for the bosses. Extended storage and second head frame. There, there we go. And yeah, so we are looking good, I think. Yeah, look at how much we can actually store there now. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. It's good. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and start buying some trainy weenies. Actually, did I not upgrade this? So I just upgraded the station, but I did not upgrade the actual coal mine, or the iron mine, I should say. Oops. Like that. Not you, you. Yeah, that works. That works for me. Okay, so that should really bring that up. We're definitely taking a lot of iron from here. Not a lot, but a good amount. So, so we may just want to concentrate on getting iron from here, I guess. Or not. Who knows? We may need to go ahead and hook up another iron mine. I'm not looking like I have a lot there. Or, alternately, we can just hook up electricity to this guy. Or the other one as well. Oh no, these don't have? Wait. Oh yeah, so the base one, the base production. We can do one more, but that's not a lot. So we'll probably just, maybe, if we need more iron ore, we can actually hook up this one here, maybe. Uh, which is, that's a nice cluster. There's two coal mines there and an iron mine. Wow, nice. I could probably, if I really get a little clever here, I can probably hook up this along with it, just with all one station, like all four things with one station, if I can get clever enough to do that, or if it'll be even possible. Who knows? All right. All right, trains. Put it off enough. Ooh, we have something going on here. What is going on? Oh, whatever. Sorted itself out. So let's see, now that we're here, let's see what we got here. Yeah, so we got now our production of wood planks are, is, is, uh, is doing a lot better than it was anyways. So very cool. So that I may be able to do with a few other places. I know we have another wood production area down here. Think? Do we? I thought we did. I know we'd have one here. Here we go. So we have this sawmill, so we could probably do something similar here. What do we got going on here at the station? 
Yeah, so this seems like it's pretty balanced. So there's another spot there that we can actually do some stuff with. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. All right, trains. <laughs> I will get around to my trains. All right, so let's select you and what do we want to use? Definitely not electric just quite yet, but this alligator is also electric. You can tell they're electric because of the little icon here. Um, this one uses oil. This one uses money and oil. This one uses oil, oil, but not too much oil. But I remember this one, I didn't really like that much. All right, so I think we're going to use, hmm, are you all bangles? <laughs> Until we get good electric going, we'll just use these bangles for now. And I know I use these the heck out of these. They're just my favorite. <laughs> all right, so orders and all right. I don't want orders. What do I want? I, I want to do coal, and I know these bangles can do, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, if they are doubles. So let's do that. Turn that guy around, like so. There we go. Did it work? It worked. Okay. And as you can see, it's a very long train, and it hauls just a ton of stuff, or many tons of stuff. Um, so. Let's do two of these, and we'll do it for the coal. So we'll copy that over. And let's see here. Let's just do these ones first. Let's just stick this down here. And what do we want to do here? Let's go to the other view. Let's go out there like that. And... Okay, let's go up north here, do the thing. All right, so we'll take, let's see here, we'll take coal from this one, so that'll be one train, and then we'll take coal from this one, that'll be the second train. So, how are we doing here, by the way? Yeah, so we got tons of coal, very nice. Probably just run both of them off of here. But let's go ahead and Distribute. So orders going from this coal mine. And we are going to go to this foundry right here. It does not have a long way to go, which is great. And we have to upgrade all this as well. Start you on your way. And then you, you're going to go from, let's see here, this one here. And you're going to go down to that same foundry. Luck of that. All right, start that guy on his way. And now we need to do the iron. So let's go ahead and do the iron. And I'm not 100% sure what the Bengals can do with the iron. So let's go ahead and explore that. Or the iron. Raw iron. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so these are going to be single trains. Because it's already over four. And what do we got here? Can we put, uh, let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get this out of here. Seven. So it's six. But these are a little bit longer, so we're going to have to do one train at a time. So we'll put four of these on. Get down here. No. Okay. Oh, I have to bring that up to there. Okay. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five, six. We need five more. Like so. And duplicate this once and twice. Three times a lady. Okay. Um, so we're going from, let's see here. So we'll take two from this one, I think. How are we doing here? 
Yeah, we definitely probably will need to get another iron mine hooked up here somewhere. But for now, I think we should be good. Notice the question in my voice. We should be good. So let's go you. And we'll do the same thing for you. And then go down to y'all. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see what we're doing. You are going here. And you are also going here. And start you guys off. Should be fine. And then you two are going to be taking the iron from... It's going to be getting pretty busy over here. Let's see how we're doing at this station here. Yeah, so the iron here is a little bit better, so that's good. So you're going from here, sir, and you are also going from here, going down to foundry down here. Beautiful. Start you guys off. You can close that for now. Fine. All right, let's just look at this guy. Going out there, gonna do his thing. Very nice. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so with that said, uh, we do need to do at least one more thing here. We need to make sure this foundry and the station are up to snuff, so to speak. So let's go ahead and put on our freight station. Let's go ahead and put it on just over here is fine. And our storage billing there is fine. And we could probably put a coal hopper and an iron hopper here just in case we get a lot more. But I think we should be fine for now. I think that's just a little bit overkill for now. Yeah, right? Okay. So this, now let's do some extensions. So we have this one, Put that there. The last furnace should work as well, but that one makes more coal tokens, but I'm not too worried about that. As long as we're making more iron ingot here. I think that's iron ingot, whatever. So this electric furnace, that's pretty interesting. So this is this is only if you have electric, you can do that, or that will work. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Just purely just electric thing. All right. So that should get that working. Let's just speed up here a little bit. Start getting things going and moving and shaking. So how are we doing here? So let's look at you. So you're just going over the bridge here. Very cool. All right, well, that's doing that. Let's go back and look at our sawmill because I'm really kind of concerned about that. We're still at 11,000 here. But if I start doing a lot of power lines and things like that, that's going to go down really quick. Uh, that's not what I wanted. That's the tool works. I want, yeah, sawmill. So let's just look at the station real quick. Ooh, <laughs> we're out of logs now. All right, so let's fix that. Slow things down just a little bit here. So that's an issue. Okay. That's a good issue to have, though. So our planks are maxed out. So if we send more logs there, we can get more planks. All right, so let's look at our forest down here. See how we're doing. Oh, look at you. <laughs> the first one I click on is the potential one that I can do. Okay, that's cool. Let's just make sure that we have extensions here. And actually, let's make sure that we have all extensions here that we need as well. Yeah, so I'm not going to do the charcoal kiln. I'm not worried about that. But we have to, we do have all the log building extensions. And that's probably why this is filled up. All right, so don't need a waiting room, but uh, do a Freight station just kind of there. Storage building. 
there's fine. And does this have one, two, three, four, five, six? So we need signal box, and we'll expand this guy. Get that out of the way. Like that, we might as well, while we're in this window, upgrade. So my theory is here, if we upgrade things <laughs> slowly, we should be fine. This is a little bit of a situation. I don't want it to get too, too busy here. Um, but this is only hooked up to that. Let's go ahead and do that. So there we go. Might as well upgrade these guys. All right, so that's just more stuff we don't need to upgrade later. All right, so how are we doing now? Uh, what am I looking for? This one. All right, so that's building up more, more, more logs. All right, so let's go ahead and put on. Uh, get rid of you. Go to the station. Ooh, what do we got going on here? Ah. Uh, so we have this is one of our last T junctions that we need to take care of here, and this is just a nightmare. So if things do get if things do get locked up, it's usually in this little area here. Alright, so let's just go ahead and let's see what we want to do. Ooh, there's not a lot of good situations here. All right, if we, let's go ahead and back this guy up. Speed things up a little bit. So that should get those guys moving. So I hesitate putting on more traffic down here. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is we're gonna have to redo this whole section here. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Okay. I think now those log trains, what I can do... Oh, wow, look at... Look at this town is expanding along the road. How wild. I think what I'm going to do... This is going to be a little bit easier of a run in here. So maybe what I can do is I can put in a clover here and have them go here and then up this way. I think that may be a better idea because this junction is just nightmares and everything's running fine now. Okay. I think if I put a clover in here as well, that may work, but I would have to expand it this way. I'd have to put the clover in here and then kind of refabulate. I think that may be the best option there. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's go ahead and I'm going to put a clover in here and then hook it up to this and then have the clover. Yeah, so have the clover. Let's see. Okay, so I'll figure it out. I'm just going to do a little jump cut here and I'll be right back. All right, so I <laughs> had to do a little finagling here. It would be nice. I was thinking about this. Now, this is going left and right or west and east and then north and south it would be nice if I can do like a diagonal one of these if I it, you can't really rotate this because it would rotate it would rotate what 90 degrees right so uh, it would never go in like a diagonal for the hookups so I think I, I would probably want to maybe do this but on like these diagonals here so the straights would actually be diagonals so I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that and see if I can't do that. It would be really kind of impossible to do it with bridges and or and or tunnels, because I think those have to be just at these these angles. So like west and east. So the basic compass points. So um, yeah. So that would be kind of cool if I can do a diagonal one of these, because that would have been a lot easier to hook this up. I think so. But I got it done. So what we have going on here is that now. What I can do is I can tell the new trains to come from here and we'll do a little waypoint going from here 
and then they can kind of go from here and then to here and then around that way. So that would make them avoid this whole situation here. I think they probably do it automatically anyways, but I'm going to make sure that I have waypoints. I was wondering what these blue dots were. <laughs> these blue dots are the termination of the electric lines. So I was putting in electric lines. So if we look at that, if we go into the upgrades, those dots, dots should go, yeah, so they go to the new termination of electric lines. So that's useful. <laughs> that's useful. I like it. Okay. All right, and I got high speed here, and I should have upgraded this. So if you're in the thing here, in the stamps, you have settings, and you can actually go into electri electrified rails. I'm going to go make sure that I have that selected next time. But uh, yeah, we can just upgrade these like so. I don't want to build new rail and have it be non-electric at the moment, so I'll do that. So at least all the new rails will be electric. All right, very cool. So now, ha, finally, let's go buy some trains. And I think two, or well, let's just buy, let's see what we get here. I'd like to buy, hmm, I'd like to buy this guy here. Although I think that might be overkill. Let's try it. Whatever. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. So he's just going to be doing logs. <laughs> Probably overkill for a log train, but that's okay. Yeah, definitely overkill for a log train. So, although, yeah, that worked out pretty well, though. But he burns oil, and he burns money as well, so... That's okay. I like it. We can afford it. We can afford it. We're falling. Everything will be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and give this guy orders. Let's just close this. We'll just do one for now. See how that works out. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so we did upgrade that. You're going from here. Taking yawn logs. Oh, waypoints. Need to put the waypoints in. So let's put a waypoint in. Going, he will go here. There's that waypoint, and then we'll go to the sawmill, which is here. Then going back, so he doesn't go the other way, we'll do another waypoint just right here. All right, and that should work. So let's go see this guy. Let's go take a looky loo. He's a fast little bugger. I think, you know, on the high-speed rails, he's going to be pretty fast. Because he goes up to 70, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Top speed. That's a cool-looking train. Looks like a pretty, pretty modern diesel. Let's go ahead and take a ride on it. Let's see what we got. What kind of cameras we got. Oh, yeah. So, you know, like, you can see out the front window on these... Which is always important. What other camera angles do we have? Yeah, this side. That's pretty cool. I like that. Like right in the middle. Still a little kind of visibility sucks, but uh, so I like it. Pretty decent. What else do we got? So just those three. Okay. So it doesn't have a bumper cam. Blow the whistle. All right. Very cool. And he, what does he do? He does 66 logs. That's not great, but not bad. So, like, compared to this guy, this log train, that's 42. So, again, probably a little bit overkill, but uh, it's all right. I like to have a variety of little trains on our track here.
All right, super cool. Let's go ahead and look at how our new industry doing is doing over here, our new bolstered up iron industry. So yeah, it looks like trains are going to and fro very nicely. And what do we got here? You know what I didn't do? I didn't do train. Did I do a train from here down to, I think I did, didn't I? Or did I? So I'm looking, it should just go from there to there. So I don't think I did. <laughs> okay, let's see, one more train here. Yeah, I definitely, definitely missed that. Let's do one more train. I'm gonna do the bangle. Bangle. All right, and we need an iron ingot train. Uh, do we need two of these? So one, two, three, four, five. I think we need two of those. Let's do two. Go. These on here. Oops, no, no, no. There we go. Ah, did it again, did it again. Okay, there we go. So those, those haul 40 each. Not too bad, I guess. Alright, let's get rid of this. Give these guys orders. To go from, and it's just a short run too, so these will probably be pretty efficient, I think. Orders. Like so. Very cool. Alright. And we're going down here. It's very nice that we have this really close by as well. I like it. Alright, set those guys on their way. Alright, very cool. So now, let's look here. How are we doing here? So we have 500 tokens. So yeah, we're ready to go into the next era. So I think in the next video we'll go. In, we'll definitely go into the next era. So I think that'll be that'll be a cool thing. Um, let me look at my other train here. How are we doing for H? There we go. U. That's the one I want. I really need to. I don't think we're going down in tokens, but I really I'm putting on a lot of money burning trains. So again, I want to make sure that. We are definitely not going to run out of money, <laughs> because that's never good. Yeah, so I think we're, we're good here. We're good here. So that train, one of the, the other trains servicing this forest just left, and that train just left here. So I think we're pretty well balanced there. So yeah, and he's taking his waypoints, which is good. I think it'll give him a little bit longer, but again, he's not going to make any more traffic up in that old craziness that we have up there a little bit north of here. So yeah, very cool. All right, so I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. And in the next video, as I said, I'm going to go ahead and go into the... Oh, man, these are getting rusty. I need to upgrade those road vehicles. Holy, holy moly. Okay, anyways, as I was saying, we're going to go into the next era in the next video and look at what's going on there. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified while when there's more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon, and you will be notified when there's more Machine Key videos. So I appreciate everybody coming by and watching, and I hope everybody's doing well and uh, staying safe. So, all right, bye for now, guys. Let's not waste time, we'll take this slow.